Hi friends and welcome back to the channel. So if you've been following me since the fall, you know that I am pregnant. As I'm filming this video, I am 37, almost 38 weeks pregnant. She can literally come any week, any day now. So I thought I would share with you what camera equipment I'm packing in my hospital bag. My intent here is to take my own set of fresh 48 photos after she's born. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically the set of photos that you take in the first 48 hours after your child is born. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so this is my hospital bag. It's currently just a giant pink duffel bag that I kind of have some things thrown in here already um, that I'm gonna need. I can't fully pack my hospital bag just because there's like things like makeup, toiletries, phone chargers, stuff like that that I can't really pre-pack. And so I've got majority of what I need for our hospital stay in here. But when it comes to camera equipment, the first piece, of course, is camera body. So I am bringing the Olympus EM1 Mark II, usual body that I currently use. And then for lens, I'm only bringing one lens. So there's not really a point bringing all of my lenses or like a lot of like portrait lenses or anything like that especially i feel like if you're taking your own set of fresh 48 photos because let's face it you probably are not going to be in the greatest shape to take photos and i'm even like i am aware that even though i am bringing my camera equipment to the hospital with me there is a very likely chance that even before labor because i want to take some photos before labor kind of and like after labor I might probably won't be in the greatest shape to do it let's face it so I, I i do realize that but like i also want to bring it just in case i am in a pretty decent shape and i can take photos and stuff like that so i'm only bringing the one lens the 12 to 40 millimeter lens because it's my most versatile lens that i have and that way i can get kind of like portraits of like us and family and stuff like that as well i can get close-up shots of the baby so I'm only bringing the one body and the one lens. Currently, it's just floating around in the bag. I don't know if I'm gonna put it in a protective case or not, but currently it's just, it's just in here. The second piece I'm bringing is tripod. So I'm not bringing a full-size tripod to the hospital because let's face it again, might not be in the greatest shape to take fresh 48 photos but i do want to have like a mini tripod just in case i want to take a portrait of us at the hospital and so this little guy extends by like 6 12 inches or something like that and in canada most of the hospital rooms have like a bedside tray that kind of moves around the room and whatnot so i kind of figured if i wanted to take a self-portrait of us i can just kind of put this on the bedside tray kind of get my husband to move it into position for me or something and that way um i can get a photo and it's pretty small and compact so yeah a little mini tripod is what i'm bringing i also forgot to mention that i have a fully charged battery in this guy already so something i've been trying to stay on top of even after like taking all of these maturity photos is making sure that the there's a fully charged battery in here always just because you never know when you might go into labor right now and i don't want to like get to the hospital and then only have like a 15 percent charge in the battery and then that doesn't really work well for the fresh 48 photos so i'm trying my hardest right now to always make sure there is a fully charged battery in here just in case we have to run to the hospital other items that i have in here is something i bought recently is a reflector set so i bought this reflector set off of amazon it's just the newer five in one reflector set it's pretty compact like it's only i think it only opens i think it's like eight inches wide so it's actually really really small like compared to the size of my head and everything and with this reflector set it's got just like you know the standard if i open it it's got the standard gold and white and then on if we unzip it it's also got the silver wherever it is um, it's got the silver and then the translucent board and everything like that so it doesn't open super super large which is what I was looking for and so this is like this is how big it opens up um, the thing says it is 60 centimeters so yeah, I just bought this reflector set and I have it uh, with the white just because I kind of figured with hospital room lighting, it's probably not going to be the greatest, but most hospital rooms, 
again at least here in Canada from like my recollection at least have a window and so if the lighting isn't going to be the greatest especially with like the overhead lighting at least maybe we can like turn off the overhead lighting and then I can just use the natural light from the window and then use the reflector set to kind of try and bounce some of that natural light and get better photos that way and I wanted something really really small because the idea is then I wanted to be able to put it in my hospital bag and kind of like not even realize that it's there as well if it's small enough too I can bring it out with me if we go out for like strolls or outings or anything like that and I just want to like improve the lighting in the photos so yeah I bought this reflector set I'm not the greatest at putting it away I honestly don't know if that's the right way to like fold it up and put it away but yeah bought this reflector set I think it was like $20 off Amazon and it came in like three days so it was pretty good so yeah that is the reflector set that I bought when it comes to clothes for myself I just have a right now I just have all my clothes in like a packing cube and so I'm not bringing a ton of stuff it's mostly like something to wear if I do want to take some photos while we're at the hospital and then an outfit to come home in and of course I wanted to choose pieces that would make just kind of like the whole postpartum nursing really easy so really in the photos what I had envisioned for the Fresh 48 if me and my husband are going to be in those photos is I just have this robe that I bought from Walmart it's just got like a nice pretty pink floral pattern on it and the idea is it's going to be good for nursing as well it looks pretty cute in photos and so this is like the only kind of piece that i'm gonna kind of imagine wearing in the photos and then when it comes to her i actually have like a set of clothes i have a variety of outfits in my hospital bag for her in different sizes just because i'm not sure if she's going to fit like the newborn or the zero to three but i have a variety of outfits for her and swaddles because i'm not entirely sure how i'm going to dress her in the photos whether or not i'm going to put her in a onesie or if i'm going to just like swaddle her in a cute swaddle so that's why I have a variety of different clothes and swaddles. I'm not going to show you, however, the clothes and swaddles that I'm bringing just because I know I have family members that watch these videos and I'm keeping all of her like reveal details really, really hush hush. Um, I kind of want it to be a surprise and everything like that. So I'm not going to show you what she's going to be wearing, but I do have a variety of clothes and swaddles for her. All right. And basically that is all of the camera equipment I am bringing with me. Like it's really only three pieces, the camera, the reflector set, the tripod, fully charged battery. Something I did forget to mention is the SD card. So in my camera currently, I have room for 430 photos so I have photos on here still from the baby moon as well all of the maternity photos that I've been taking so I've got room for 430 photos on here but that should be more than enough for the fresh 48 photos really it's not an elaborate or anything photo shoot it's just have some photos of her and us in the first 48 hours after she's born but yeah that's really all of it that I'm bringing with me. It's just like these three pieces, honestly. Trying not to overcomplicate things. And like I said earlier, I don't actually know what kind of shape I'm gonna be in, whether or not to take Fresh 48 photos myself. You can always hire a Fresh 48 photographer, which I did consider really heavily a couple months ago, whether or not we should hire a Fresh 48 photographer. But then I kind of just decided, let's just try doing it ourselves. So, We'll see if we end up taking the Fresh 48 on the camera or whether or not I end up just taking some photos on my phone. But that's all of the camera equipment I am bringing with me. Before you go, I just wanted to give you a bit of a channel update. So like I said earlier, I'm 37, almost 38 weeks pregnant. She can literally come out any week, any day now. A lot of babies in my side of the family are born like two weeks early. So we are like mentally kind of preparing ourselves for an early baby. 
and things have just honestly been super super crazy busy you know you you have so much to do to get like the house ready and just yourself ready for the baby we do have all of her essentials and pretty much everything is set up for her she could literally come tomorrow and like we're all set up for her we've got like her bassinet built her changing table all built the house projects are on their way we should be able to finish them this weekend this week while i'm filming this video has been pretty chaotic just because Pepsi if you follow me on Instagram you know that like Pepsi has been sick this week and so I haven't exactly had the best energy this week to film any YouTube videos or do anything just because he's waking up like every two to three hours and I have to take him out even throughout the night and stuff so I'm just not getting the best sleep and I honestly just don't have a lot of energy throughout the day so things have just been really really busy and when it comes to YouTube uh, YouTube videos takes a lot of time creating YouTube videos although you know it's a great creative outlet and it's fun does take a lot of time you know writing the outlines filming the videos editing the videos and I'm just not sure if I can commit that time when she's born you know this is our first baby this is the first time we're navigating taking care of a child um, of a newborn and so I honestly just don't know what it's going to be like for us my husband is home for the first few weeks that she's born which is going to be really really helpful but yeah I just depending on energy levels and time and everything I don't know if I'm going to be able to commit to creating weekly YouTube videos so starting now basically I'm going to be taking a bit of a break from YouTube. And when I say break, I just mean like I'm not putting pressure on myself or forcing myself to create weekly YouTube videos. So if I get to create a video, if I have time to create a video, energy to create a video, then I will and I'll post one for like a Saturday or the weekend but I'm not forcing myself or pressuring myself to keep to those schedules right now, just until we kind of get into a routine with her and that we kind of figure out timing wise and everything, how to manage it all. So although I am taking like a break off of YouTube and then I'm not forcing myself to create weekly videos, I do plan to post regularly to Instagram. So on my Instagram stories and Instagram posts as well, I do plan to create regular blog posts over on my website. Website. So every YouTube video that I put out there, there's normally an accompanied blog post that I put on my website. And so if you want, you can also just go check out beautifullywander.com for like weekly blog posts because I am going to try being pretty regular with the blog post just because writing is actually a lot easier, and a lot faster for me than creating YouTube videos. And so I feel like I'm able to like do that a lot better than create videos right now. And so I am going to be kind of posting more regularly to my website and my Instagram. So if you want to go follow me over on Instagram, I'll leave my information in the description. So yeah, that's just a little bit of an update for you when it comes to what the channel is just going to look like for the next couple of months. And it's just going to look like this until we can establish a routine and that things become more regular for us. But yeah, so this may or may not be the last video that you see from me in a while. I did recently take a bunch of maternity photos um, myself. If I don't get a video out about how I took my own maternity photos, do go check out beautifullywander.com because there will be an article going out um, with examples and photos and everything like that. A full breakdown on how I took my own maturity photos. When I'm good and ready, I'll kind of start coming back more regularly to YouTube. But until then, I guess I'll see you in the next video or over on Instagram.